What's going on everybody? Jamie here from FM Scout. Today's video, we're going to talk about the FM21 feature announcement. There's four headline features that we need to talk about and we're going to break down the video. So what we've done, we've trimmed down the video so we can just see the FM21 stuff. And I want your guy, you guys to let me know in the comments, what do you think about these four feature headlines? Was you happy? Was you sad? You know, let me know what you think. What do you think to the new features that we're going to see today? So let's get right into it. So the first thing we're going to look at is the first screen that we saw on the feature reveal. And this was the kind of new dressing room where you can speak to your players. Now, they have added some new stuff. So before it was kind of like aggressive or passionately say this. You've now got some other reactions. Through, For example, throw water bottle. How many of you are going to be using the throw water bottle all the time? Point finger, hands in pockets, and outstretched arms. I'm assuming there might be some others, because there is a few other statements that I'm assuming, you know, would require none of these. So hopefully there's some more stuff. And um, just before we continue, actually, a, a little date for your diary, the 19th of October, which is two days of this video, they have said there's going to be more features announced on the Football Manager Twitter. Now, you, of course, can follow our Twitter as well. We'll cover that. But look out on the first on on the 20th of October because that's when they release a few more features. And don't forget, if you want to pre-order this, you get early access. You get two weeks roughly early access by ordering it from FM Scout. The link is in the description below. So if you do want the early access, I know a lot of you have already bought it from FM Scout. So make sure you head over to that link in the description. I mean, regarding this screen, so this this video as well, by the way, is my to my own opinion. Like this isn't the opinion of FM Scout. This is my own opinion of what I'm seeing. I mean, of course, we, we do like talking to the players and stuff. So, you, I mean, what I can see so far is, yes, this has changed. But, I mean, like, you can see the subs on the right-hand side. You can see, obviously, the players at the top. It's kind of in order. I'm assuming you've got the dressing room in the background as well. Um, but for me, how many times would you use this? That's the only thing that I worry about. But let's go forward a little bit because there's not much we can see on this screen. Okay, so pausing it again, you can see a lot of these are pretty much the same. I'm hoping these aren't the same when it's released. I mean, it doesn't look quite right. Obviously, it looks like someone's just kind of typed it in for the video. Whether these will be the official statements, but a lot of these are generally the same, maybe with one or two tweaks. Um, so, yeah, obviously for me, they've only changed this. These are kind of the same. I mean, there might be more. Hopefully, there's more. But, yeah, for me, they're the same. Now, I do like the look of the new press conferences. This is how the press conferences are going to look. And looking around, you can kind of see, uh, you can see your kind of little stats just up here. I think they've done a lot of fine tuning to things that was already in the game so far, which is fine by me because I've really enjoyed FM20. Uh, there's still a few things that I hope they change, which I'll reveal at the end of this video. But you can see, you know, you've got your kind of your journalist at the top from the from Radio Leicester, Football 365. Sky Sports News, things like that. And then you've got your reactions at the bottom. So, you know, you could agree, you could have a neutral um, statement, you can have a negative, and you can decide how you're going to do it. So, I mean, outstretched arms, would you really outstretch your arms in... Maybe you would in a press conferences. I'm not sure. Point finger, shake head, and open arms. I'm not sure they're quite the right ones for a press conferences. These ones are fine. But open arms, maybe it would, maybe it wouldn't. But I'm not really one for press conferences. Um, I do like the little press conference atmosphere, though, which is great. And I'm hoping, kind of, you know, I will start using press conferences more because I'm pretty sure we're all in the same boat. Press conferences for the last five to ten years have been very draining, let's be honest. And I'm glad they're changing it, don't get me wrong. I don't, I don't want this video to come across as negative because I love the game, no matter what. But I just hope there's something... You know, for me, I would like it if a press conference would affect your board. So your board or your, your your chairman might not be happy with what you've said, which will then add pressure to you. Things like that is, is something like I would like. But yeah, for me, I'm glad they've improved it. Let's go a little bit further. So you can see you've got little, little things here that you can say uh, in a smiley way. Now let's go back slightly. I just want to see if there's anything changed to the sidebar. I can't really see it's blurry. That's probably why. All right, let's, let's go back. So... If we go here, let's pause it. So you can see you can have a quick chat now with your your actual manager, with your player, sorry. And looking at the new gen faces, sadly, it doesn't look like the new gen faces have changed. Whether this is an old build, that was one thing that I, I was hoping for, actually, would be the, um, 
yeah, this this face to change and add new new gen pictures. That's one thing what that was on my wish list, but it doesn't look likely unless it's an old build. But you can obviously look through these, and yeah, it's a lot of kind of you know you can open your arms widely, which appeared to improve his body language. It's just an overview. It's, it's like a a user interface upgrade for me because these are all generally the same. Like I've been pleased with your pre recent conduct. That is the same thing as that was on FM twenty. So. I think it's just the way you say it has changed, and maybe the interface. Let's go forward. You can see the same things. Let's go to the next slide. So this one is a remote chat, which you could do previously. Um, you could do this with your players out on loan and things like that. But you can see, you know, one thing that we spotted in the last video was the condition and the match sharpness has changed. So before it was obviously in percentages, so 100%, 50% or whatever. But now you've got icons. So I know a lot of people who like data would prefer the percentages. For me, I think it looks a lot better with icons. And let's be honest, like I know like sports scientists and things like that nowadays are of can probably give you an accurate number. So, you know, if they are 70%, they'll tell you there's 70%. But for me, an icon, you don't really know if they're if they're what they are, if that makes sense. You can see it's like a little bit down. But for me, I like that. It, it kind of gives a bit of the unknown. So, uh, but you can see nothing else really have changed on here. They're just doing kind of you've got your your scope, your personality, your relationship, things like that. But now that's pretty cool. I, I like it. I like it. And you can see you can have a, a positive chat, and you can see the, the 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 things. But generally, they're kind of the same, really. But let's uh, let's go forward. Let's wait for the next one. So this one is the same thing. So you can point a finger. Um, again, the statements are pretty much the same. You can open your arms. Uh, and then this one is you can shake your head. So you can see a little things here. This is the manager at Bayern Munich. And um, you can see all the info there again. You're about to take charge of your first match as Bayern Munich. Can you sum up your feelings on an occasion like this? I think that's the same thing as well. But you can obviously choose which one you want to do it with. So you can shake your head at that, which, you know, I'm sure wouldn't go down too well in a press conference. And then the next thing we've got is some pre-match tactical advice. Again, this was on the game, but it looks a little bit different now. For me so far, we haven't seen anything new. We've just seen like an overview of the game, a, a, a revamp of the, the game, which again, I don't want it to come across as negative, but I think it's what it needed to be fair. It needed to be more simple. A lot of new players would prefer this type of stuff. But yeah, let's go forward. See, so obviously you've got your title marking. You can set them to do that if you want. And then this is the one thing that I actually like. So the team sheet looks really cool. Um, a lot of these things are kind of, you know, you've got your, your social side on the left, which again generally comes through your inbox and stuff or in your news section. So a lot of things are kind of in one place, which is nice. And you can kind of see, um, I, I do really like the team sheet. I think it looks really cool. Um, but there's not much more on that on that sheet. So you can see, you know, you're getting your pre-tactical advice there as well. Now, the match engine. All right. So they've revamped the UI for the match for the match for the match day. Uh, you can see you've now got like a little scoreboard just up here. Um, you've also got some stuff at the bottom now as well. Um, obviously, we can't see the settings and things like that. Looking at this, this can be actually removed, though. So you can see right here, this little icon, you can actually collapse this by the look of it. So you can have like a full screen which is really, really good. And then you can see your team at the bottom. You can see the happiness. You can see the condition and, and things like that. You've got your yellow cards if they've been subbed. So no, I like that. Um, looking at the match engine, though, I mean, has anything changed? I know there's, they've added some new animations and things like that. But yeah, I can't see there being much difference to the match engine this year, apart from probably some animations and things like that. And yeah, you can see like here, yeah, there's a little dink over the keeper, which we saw in the first video. But no, not 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 the you know, I wasn't expecting a match engine upgrade to be honest. There might be some tweaks. We don't know yet. We'll find out more. I'm assuming on the on the on the twentieth. And then this screen is kind of your um your when you finish the game. So you can see kind of everything, how the table looks, how the media have reacted, and how the fans have reacted. So it's all kind of in one place, which is nice, rather than it clogging up your inbox. And then the next thing is what people was getting hyped about was the XG match story. So I'll be honest with you, I have no idea what this is. I probably should, but it's never been in the game before, so I've never really... I know it's something to do with clear-cut chances, I think. So if someone can please explain to me, because I might need to do a video on this, 
the FM21, but I've never heard of it for some reason. You know, I've been playing Football Manager for so long and I've never seen this in the game. So I think it's something to do with how many goals you score. Let me try and take a punt at this. So is it something that you... So if you score three goals, but your XG is low, it means it's not great. I, I think I know what I'm talking about, but I'm not 100% sure. So if you guys could let me know, I'm sure there's some expert in the comments who um, who might be able to um, to update me on that. But yeah, honestly, not something that I'm fully familiar with. But people were hyping about it, so. And then you've obviously got some more analysis as well. You've got your kind of your shot map, expected goals, your attempts. You So you can see you've got like a low XG, a high XG. Uh, I'm sure there'll be some tutorials on that on FM Scout in the future. But you can see, obviously, it's all in one place, which is really, really nice. All right, let's go forward. So if we go here as well, I was looking on the left to see if anything had changed, but it all looks the same. There's nothing new added on the left-hand side as of yet. I was even trying to look in the inbox, but that looks the same as well. Um, and then you've got, obviously, when you finish the game, the post-match report. You can see all the information nice and easily on this screen, which you could in the past anyway, but there's some more stuff added as well. All right, let's go forward a little bit more. So now the most exciting thing for me is the recruitment. Now, if we go here, you can see you can now have meetings, recruitment meetings with all of these people, your managing director, your director of football, your assistant manager, and your chief scout. This is something that I've wanted for a long time because, you know, the director, I use the director of football a hell of a lot on FM. People who watch my streams will know we found so many good players from the, from the director of football. And... For me, I th I thought it was a bit boring after a bit. Like, it's just the same thing, but having meetings makes it so much better. You can specify what you want to look for. You can specify, I'm assuming if it's for potential, if it's for anything like that. So let's go, let's get the screen a little bit bigger. So you can see the little chat that you can have with your director of football. You can send him out what to find, what positions to find. Let's just go back a little bit just there. If we can pause that somehow. There we go. So you can see, you, you can look, for a player that fits you know you've got age so you can go young you go based in your scouting range if they're available now uh, and then you've got the if the players fit the tactic you've got your analysis will look for certain players as well you can add little things to your scouting to find the perfect player so for me that is really good so you can see that they can find players who will perform at our level goalkeepers well-rounded outfield players things like that um who's technical and then your analysis will look for players in your recruitment package but no for me that is a really good addition i like that a lot and you can see they're kind of in the office as well you've got your meeting set up so that that's really cool that's for me is the best feature of this feature reveal um yeah really happy with that and then the next one you've they've kind of changed you've got some podiums things like that for when you win the cups and for me i think this looks great let's be honest i think it looks really really nice if you think about this, like, just look how good it looks. I mean, you've got your your, your stands, you've got your podium, and then the, the grounds look really, really good as well. So it's all been fine-tuned, which is amazing. So for me, it looks like the players are actually stood through the podium, so hopefully they fix that. But, you know, you've got your flares, you've got your confetti, you've got pretty much everything. So that that's a big improvement for me, and it looks great, to be honest. You know, we're not expecting FIFA graphics. If you are, you're probably playing the wrong game. Um... But for me, for the people who can see it's been fine-tuned, it's, yeah, it looks great. And then finally, you get, when you finish your season, you get an end-of-season presentation. Look at this, end-of-season review. A full presentation on what your team's done, what your players have done, uh, your biggest win, your highest scoring match, which you could see anyway, it was in your inbox, so if you remember. So it looks like they're trying to get rid of a few things out the inbox, um... And then the final one is this, which they were saying they might reveal on on the 20th, which is Monday. So this one I'm really intrigued about. Right, what do you guys want from this Ask Agent for availability, all right? So for me, this is how I see it. So I think you could ask, you could go to the agent. You can then, let's say, let's say you're Mansfield Town in League 2, all right? And you're bidding for a player in the National North with a lot more money. So I can send, I can ask the agent of that player in the national north if is players available and the agent will probably come back to me with yes is available but he wants this so then you can say yes i i will give him that and then he will then become unsettled at his club meaning that obviously he might ask for a transfer list and then you can approach him 
So you can kind of go, Looks for me, it looks like you can go to the agent before you can go to the club and try and unsettle the player. I think that's how it's going to work. Maybe I'm wrong, but we'll find out more, I'm assuming, on Monday. But yeah, that's, that's all it was. And then I hope you've enjoyed the video, boys and girls. Let me know what you think in the comments to the feature reveals that we've seen today. Um, or, or a few days ago, I'm just reacting to it now. I wanted to trim it all and stuff. But it's been a pleasure. My name's been Jamie, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye, everybody.